We now bring you the story of Kendrick Johnson, whose lifeless body was found upside down, wrapped in a wrestling mat at his high school gym in southern Georgia. His death was ruled an accidental asphyxiation by state and local law officials. He was only 17 years old. This was back in 2013, and his family still has questions, and they suspect foul play. There's now a documentary film on what happened to Kendrick called Finding Kendrick Johnson, the result of a four-year investigation into the facts of the case. The filmmaker Jason Pollock asserts that Kendrick's death was no accident. We opened the body in this particular case, and the organs were not there. Paper had been stuffed into the cavity to fill it up. Body parts are missing, evidence is missing. And we tested it, and it was blood. And we did DNA testing, and it was not the blood of Kendrick Johnson. If it wasn't Kendrick blood, who blood was it? We know it was We know it was If KJ had been white, we wouldn't have had to make this film. This week, I spoke to actress Jennifer Lewis, who is also the narrator and executive producer of Finding Kendrick Johnson. And I asked her how she got involved in the project. Well, I was on book tour with my memoir, The Mother Black Hollywood, and I did an interview with Charlemagne the God on The Breakfast Club. A young man asked me to take a photograph with Mike Brown and ask if I could if he could send it to the director, Jason Pollock, He did, and Jason in that photograph saw my passion and called and asked me to narrate this amazing documentary. Yeah, let's, let's play and some I of say this. this is, to please do. Uh -huh, I just want to tell you, it's the hardest thing I've ever done to sit I can there imagine. and talk about them taking this boy's organs and killing him. I can only imagine. Let's play a little clip of the documentary for those who are watching. A five foot 10 kid decided to go head first into a six foot mat, then realized after he was stuck that he was gonna die down there. And then he died down there, stuck. Somehow silently, with a gym full of kids playing basketball and changing classes around him. Then his shoes magically appeared on the top of his body, inside the mat shoved into the hole. His legs became twisted in the mat. There are so many discrepancies in this case. The original finding that he died of accidental asphyxiation versus the finding that it was blunt force trauma. The organs being missing. There's so much here. Now, the filmmakers are saying they found new evidence. What can people expect to learn from this documentary that we didn't already know? Well, that it was just a cover-up. Mitch Credo, the whistleblower, who was sent from D.C. to investigate this case, acquired enough evidence that a judge gave permission for an all-out raid into these people's home, the Bell's home. Now, that's a lot of evidence for a judge to give permission to storm someone's house. What happened? What happened after that? They pushed it all under the rug. This is one of the biggest tragedies I've ever heard, that they took that baby's organs, murdered him, and then took his organs. They exhumed the body and found that the child had been stuffed with newspaper. This family has to live with that. And I'm here to tell you right now, I am going to fight for justice for Kendrick Johnson's family until that case is open. We are calling on Biden, the Congress, the Senate, to open this case now that we have this evidence. Let me play one more clip because I want people to hear the parents um, of Kendrick. Um, here, are, who's called KJ, his, his nickname. Um, here are his parents as part of this documentary. Mm -hmm. How would you feel if your son went to school and never came home, never returned home, and then the next day you found out he was rolled up in a gym mat? My thing is to um, let people know that they have a voice. They don't have to be silent. They don't have to be scared to fight no more they can speak out. They killed the wrong child this time. We ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. My baby life mattered. 